Yeah, no, I, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to start off today by just letting people know that I'm Mr. Life the Shit, I'm three, uh, 312 pounds, I'm tired of imposter women hitting on me, myself and I, using alias accounts on Instagram. Wanted to let you know that I am the one, and, uh, yeah. Thank you for letting us know that. Yeah, no, that's a... <laughs> That's from uh that's actually a quote from the philosopher uh Instagram user bench press uh six hundred and seventy five pounds that <laughs> showed up on my for you my for you tab. If he can bench that much, that is I like I don't give a shit what, yeah. what he says. That is a that is a ridiculous fucking bench. I mean he must be like I think yeah, he has to be like on steroids. Um, oh yeah, hundred what's the fucking I'm gonna Google what the world record is. World yeah. It's 100 pounds. It's 100 pounds. pounds. Yeah. Okay. Well, the world record is 1,400 pounds. Okay. That is ridiculous. That's what he should aim for. That's what he's gonna. He's gonna be Mr. Fifty. He's not even halfway there. Yeah. Um. But yeah. How uh? How are you guys doing? Uh. Yeah. Great. Oh, that's 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 right. Bench press. Pardon me. I I think uh, standard bench is 782. That's oh. yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, no, that's yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's insane. I wish this guy the best of luck. Yeah. Um, I went. Uh, I decided we. Uh, if you guys haven't listened to uh, the Patreon episode for this week, you should. Um, because I feel like I hit it out of the park with uh, the various role playing subreddits that I that I. Found. Yeah, new Patreon just, is great. You guys should listen. Yeah, and I decided just uh to just hit those back up. Um. I went back to weight gain RP. I found uh, I found this one in weight gain RP. I guess we'll start with that. Um, here, I'll start reading. Could uh, Mister Life the Shit bench these people? <laughs> well, that's a good question. I think maybe like I think like at the start of their role play he might be able to, but at the end it seems that they all become like ten thousand pounds. <laughs> Also, the the top post on weight gain RP of all time is, I think, like this post to gain one thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome that it works. Yeah, cool. maybe. Yeah, maybe that's what it, it used to be. Anyway, um, yeah. So this is F. I I don't. I, I am reading this <laughs> post right now, and I am. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Lizofication. Women start becoming big, black, and boisterous on oh, mass. Wow. <laughs> this is from Abs Throw sixty nine. It starts with a new album, which is already proves to be her most popular yet. It's catchy, very catchy, to the point that even those who wouldn't normally be interested in it find themselves giving it a listen. It's a serious hit, and before you know it, you'll be hearing it nearly everywhere you go. And it's played nonstop in public and used online everywhere, from memes to ads. Even as <laughs> even as it grows annoying, there's something sort of familiar and comfy about it. Definitely easy to dance to, but it also makes you kind of hungry. This is. <laughs> oh wait, sorry. Look at this person. This makes you kind of hungry. Don't yeah, interrupt no, the post to look at their profile. No, I'm sorry. They were in. I just I clicked on it offhandedly, and then I looked, and they were in a subreddit called Gross Roleplay. <laughs> um, <laughs> clearly, that's a common effect. As Lizzo songs quickly make it all over fast food commercials. Like, yeah, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> yeah. Their own, their own jig- jingles remix did. It works wonders for getting girls in the mood to have some yummy fast food. Of course, <laughs> these changes in diet often come with changes in figure. As wow. women continue to bulk up, their personalities also start to adjust, mimicking the women they idolize most. Let's begin to take her form in more ways than just shape. Their voices Uh-oh. start changing. Their hair gets darker, and eventually their skin too. It doesn't happen overnight, uh, but the numbing. Non- Gnawing blur seems to capture the world as society seems to be slowly reducing itself into a monoculture. This is like a fucking like a like a Johnny Test episode premise. Yeah. Like one like, of those cartoons you don't even really look back on fondly. Yeah. I, oh what if what if there was a, a a music song that made everyone fat? It's the it's the Johnny <laughs> Test episode where they like tried to introduce the idea of white genocide. Like they tried to teach kids a lesson about <laughs> that. Will. I wish it would. Bias. I wish it would happen overnight. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's more interesting. Um, yes, yeah, women continue. Uh, looking to do an RP where everyone, meaning either women or men and women, depending on interest, is slowly but surely converted into a Lizzo lookalike. Chat or DM if interested. And yeah, this is from. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine being like a like a fully transitioned trans guy in this scenario? Yeah, you put in all that fucking work. <laughs> 
Like, like you, you, you came out to everyone, you face, like, societal oppression, you wake up one day, you're just like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, yeah you just, you just <laughs> think that it stopped bullshit, working. This is bullshit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate this, man. Oh, I... my God. I have been on hormones for three years. Yeah. <laughs> Come uh, on, dude. Yeah. Just, I want to know what, the, I, you know, I kind of want to know what, like, the time frame is. Like, is it a few weeks? Is it, like... You know, like a decade. Yeah, what's the first to get or something? Yeah, is it like? Oh yeah, is it like localized? Because it, yeah, um, it was doing this, but with a um fucking uh god, what's the guy's name? Like a like a Bing Crosby Christmas album, and everybody turns into Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's a California Raisins album. <laughs> yeah, Raisin. yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a California Raisins album, and everyone is turning into Lizzo. Um. But, uh, uh, Gus, you want to read the one, uh, you want to read, uh, one of these that I, I sent, uh, in show links. I have more. My magnum opus! That's, the farm. I like this. As it says in the title, this roleplay is my true attempt at a masterpiece. Oh, wait, what's the username? Uh, this is from... Jesus Christ. <laughs> this, is, this is from, uh, Blob Lover 1000 <laughs> 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 I, you know what? <laughs> and then one of their posts from Waitgate RP is Emperor hot ass sister to fuck hot ass blob. <laughs> no. <laughs> Along with this, I also <laughs> plan to put all of my literary skills in this as well. Now, of course, this requires you as my partner to put in the same amount of effort as I now. <laughs> That's front. not fair. It sounds like yeah. this is your magnum opus. And this guy's getting fucking entitled already. God yeah. Man. The Mulberry Farm is owned by my character. However, farm is owned by my character. However, you want... <laughs> what? Okay. Like, that's, that's, not, uh, great... that's not me fucking However. it up. That's how it's no, made. I know. Great start to a magnum opus. Yeah. However... Like you the Mulberry Farm is owned by my character. However, farm is owned by my character. However, you want him slash her to look like is up to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Magnum opus. There aren't any typos in like the paragraph where he's saying like this is the greatest literary work I've ever conceived. Oh, he also <laughs> uses like the gets correct. Gets into it and he immediately forgets how to construct his sentence. He does use the correct accent mark on facade, which is funny considering how nice. awesome. Yeah. This farm puts up the facade of an ordinary fruit and animal farm. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not, it's not how farms work anymore. Over here we got the banana plants. Over here we got the cow plants. Over here we got the pig fruits. Yeah. <laughs> but what the people don't know is that the farm uses hopeless human prey as its resource. As simple as this prompt is, I'm asking you to play multiple characters that eventually become a part of this farm. Whether it's them being fed and bred by high-paying sources to be milked like a cow. <laughs> I'm imagining this is like Whiplash, where he's like just like pushing you to the limit to do this. Becoming <laughs> a siphon of blueberry juice and constantly growing and needing juice. That one's really funny to me because he's a little just directly revealing that his sexual awakening was Willy Wonka in the chocolate yeah, that, that, yeah, that is true. Yeah, partially because I don't think I've ever like heard of blueberry juice as like a thing that people have. I mean, they had to bring it off the shelf. Like, like, it is, it is specifically too. he had something stir inside him when he saw Charlie in the Chocolate Factory for the first time. Yeah. Becoming a blob of fat for the purpose of market meat. This RP is truly limitless. We can keep adding characters and removing as they see fit. Don't like a pasto see? Have the other cows eat them. Don't like a berry? Make pie and have it tested on staff. <laughs> wow. I like that he's like, like entering like that... this, but like only with like a fucking like Sonic OC that refuses to fit the rules and just wrecks everything. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I like that he's pitching it like it's like a like it's a startup. It's like okay, what, my my character is a Bruiser the Rhinoceros, and he doesn't even want to do any of that stupid crap. He's here to stop the farm, and he shows up. Yeah, and my character is not going to everyone else to stay thin, so he can yeah. so he could keep his stealth up. Well, I like that he's, like, pitching it like a startup, like, the way people are like, look, this could be, like, the Uber of, like, uh, farms where you're yeah, fat and you eat things. Yeah, the growth is, you know, growth is, like, basically limitless if, if you give me the right funding and we pull it off. Sharks, I want to feed you and breed you and then milk you like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. We're Wonderful, have you ever been a siphon of blueberry that. juice? Sharks, I'm asking for one million pounds in exchange for twenty percent of your total weight. <laughs> Each of your characters can be unique, 
or they can be similar. They can be older than my character or much younger. They can start skinny and grow to immense sizes, or they can start in the USS BBW knowing that they'll become. <laughs> they can be oblivious to what's happening through them through drugs or sheer stupidity, or they can be fully aware of what's happening and live in sheer terror, bliss, or sadness. They can be a stranger found from the streets, someone who is a part of the farm staff who quit without reading the contract. My sister. <laughs> <laughs> My sister. <laughs> That's just nothing to go on there. <laughs> no, no real development there. No angles. This guy's a little too quick to serve second helpings at Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. Two characters at once who are sisters. Why does this keep coming uh, yeah. up? Or yeah. a lover, even. This is purely limitless. I am wow. going to go as far as you go and always present opportunities for more kinks to happen. I want you to be fully literate in what your character is thinking, <laughs> how they're gaining, and the sounds and the glorious details. And if you do that much, I will return the favor and give some back. List of main kinks. Weight gain, wardrobe malfunction, age gap, immobility, blah, belly Age blah, gap, hold on. Gap, <laughs> health flight, breeding, denial of weight gain, non-consensual weight gain, fast-paced weight gain, blueberry, heavy slog, and there insect. it is. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, I no, love the, the list of kinks always gets me so good. Yeah, no, that's like, great. I love effects it. at the end of a commercial. <laughs> yeah, and then just like nothing, like no one replied to it. <laughs> um, I'm glad this Patients is. Patients of Exifor the... may experience becoming a siphon of blueberry juice and constantly growing and eating to be juiced, or becoming a big yeah. blob of fat for the purpose of market meat. Uh, Griffin, can you read the one that I just sent from the same person? I'm Ray Liotta, and I've been turned into a blueberry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, re I'm Ray Liotta. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't smoke anymore. <laughs> I don't smoke anymore. Right, my go my lungs have there. collapsed from my sheer weight. This and one, I'm... um, M for F, you become a blob and I'll fuck you and you suck me off. <laughs> yeah, that one. It's from the same guy. We're going to make it super fast and you're going to be in our constant state of last as you fail as you fail to become a blobby lard. Eventually, you'll just suck me off and I'll fuck your stomach and you become bigger than Earth. <laughs> like how simple it is. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Bigger than Earth. And then there's a re uh, one reply from someone named Faith Titus, and they say, turn me into you sex cow. Yeah, I like that they just add the part about being bigger than Earth at the end. Um, Until you like... become more huger than the damn Earth. Yeah, <laughs> just... Can I read this one you sent earlier? Yes. Um... Anyone for anyone, the flabyrinth. Yeah, the flabyrinth. I like this play. Play. Your character finds themselves trapped in a backrooms esque environment. All they have to guide them is a vague feeling that the way out is to head upwards, and the breadcrumb tale of tasty, tasty food scattered around. Will they manage to escape before they get too fat to continue? I would essentially be a game master playing as the environment here. <laughs> And then kinks, weight gain, stuffing, st stuckage, clothes, furniture destruction, uh, heavy belly, weight gain, limits, sex, extreme kinks, anything <laughs> bathroom or slob, furry. I like that. Se I mean, I guess I get why sex is a, a limit, but that is that is a funny, like, you know, yeah, like you, really you, this is just about like you cannot have sex in our sexual just, that's, that's, this, a, that's a great one is to like include like a bunch of like really nasty like water sports type shit yeah yeah and then just say but we can't have sex we can't you cannot have you cannot role play sex yeah um i just uh i just looked up blob on here and uh <laughs> i was like i mean wait wasn't there like an x-man like an x-man called the blob or something he's a villain it's just, like, yeah it's just like a really big fat i bet that was an awakening for a lot of people well, no, because he's evil. Uh, yeah, but, you know, like, people people get awoken by all kinds of things. Um, You know, Blueberry Girl was, was evil. She was awful. No, she was nice. She no, was she one of the was... nicer ones. She just didn't uh, know how to uh, listen yeah. to, to adults, I think. Yeah, she got a little too excited. Defied, really. And um, paid the price of becoming a huge okay, this one... sexy blueberry. <laughs> This one's uh, M for A, uh, the fattening prison, and uh, this is from uh, this is from user Need Bigger Pants. Yeah, this is, this is a, a really like a name of a really low budget Iranian satire of America from two thousand. <laughs> the fattening prison, yeah. yeah. 
Things have been getting really out of hand in the legal system in this country as of late. Prison overcrowding has been running rampant, and there have not been enough staff and prison guards to keep up and maintain order. That is until two years ago. A mysterious individual proposed a new type of prison that would be have everything automated, have no need for guards. Not only that, but it's uh, <clears throat> but the rate of violence among inmates was completely 0.0%. How would that be achieved? Simple. It was the world's first fattening prison. The prison was a massive dome, zero doors except one entrance hole. Beyond that hole, there were three chambers where only human workers resided. Each chamber was accessed through a hole in the wall, and as you went through, the chambers in the holes got bigger. And for good reason. Once prisoners were admitted, they were force-fed and fattened in various manners until they were too large to fit through the door. As they grew, they... <laughs> They would progress to the next chamber, and by the time they were released into the central dome, they would weigh as much as the average of 550 pounds, and had no hope of squeezing back through the openings in the walls. They would become so addicted to the feedings uh, through a number of conditioning methods that they would only continue to grow. Uh, thank you all th who read through this monologue. I had this idea and wanted to get some partners. It's like, I don't even know how you, like, RP this. It's like, uh-oh, I'm going into prison. <laughs> I'm getting uh -oh. big and fat. Uh-oh, uh -oh, I killed what my are you... wife and my two kids. Now I've been <laughs> yeah. sent to the fat prison. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, just, yeah. Um... Yeah, it's just like, I have zero like, size limits. You, you got, like, are... a three-year-old who's just really mean to you on visitation? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, why are you fat now? <laughs> yeah. You're just in there for like a DUI. <laughs> because you're in there for a DUI, they only make you like they just like give you like a you just get like a like bad fupa, like you just like you just look kinda shitty. <laughs> like everyone everyone else is like rolling around and you you're just like, you know, you're just out of shape now. Uh, I have zero size limits. My main kings are belly stuffing, force feeding, weight gain, inflation, all types, pregnancy, empreg, lactating, hairy bush and armpits on all genders, oral, anal, the list goes on. My main dislikes are blood, scat, bathroom stuff, and I'm not the biggest fan of slob. Uh, 18 plus, okay, no, fuck you. You need to be a fan of whatever slob means if you're going to be doing this. Yeah. I'm, I'm enforcing they, discipline. They, they keep the fat prison clean. They can't even fucking get to the floor. They're so squished into there. Yeah. So. Can't get clean at all. Yeah, uh, Gus, do you want to read the one that you sent? Uh, sure. Uh, this is first RP making my GF obese again. <laughs> cool. And I'm making my GF obese again. No, it's and the only reason I wanted to read this is because he begins, "Hello, French guy here." <laughs> and I'm really <laughs> laughing at the idea of a, of a woman being force fed entirely snails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been into feederism since as long as I can remember. This is the first time I'll try RP with someone, so please be gentle and give me some advices. I am looking for a female to RP with. In this scenario, we are in a relationship together since two years. You don't know that I have a preference for fat girls or for girls gaining weight. One day, as you show me pictures of your younger you, I discovered that two years before we meet each other, you used to be an obese and gluttonous pear-shaped girl. <laughs> she, she just weighed like you 10 extra pounds. She yeah. just weighed like 10 extra pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's a French guy. It's like an 130-pound woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, embarrassed, you explained to me that you have diet and exercise a lot to be as athletic and slim that you are now. Unknown to you, my goal is to now make you slip onto the path of fattening and obesity again, to make you fatter than you've ever been. For all I am going to make you larger than you've ever been in your life. <laughs> my, uh, my, my friend, uh, my friend went to the, uh, the Paris Olympics with her girlfriend and, like, some guy that was, uh, volunteering there for whatever reason, they don't, like, pay the people that work those events. They're just volunteers. Um, I guess that's, because like... Because like, they get paid in history, dude. Yeah, they get paid in cigarettes. No, uh, he, like, went up to them and was, like, talking to them. He, like, spoke English. He was like, uh, how often, uh, what the what the exercise regimen are you on? And uh, uh, my friend or girlfriend were like, oh, you know, like, we, we you know, bike, like, two, three times a week. Like, we, you know, swim, uh, like, lap sometimes. And then uh, she he was like, why, why are you asking? And then he just turns around and he has a jacket that says 30 minutes every day. He's like, you should be doing this with exercise 30 <laughs> minutes every day. And then he handed them, he handed them little like brochures of the uh, fucking, what, whatever that like French Revolution hat that like they made the mascot of the Paris Olympics. It just one of them like, uh, like exercising. And then like in French, it said like, you need to exercise more. <laughs> You need to turn off Nickelodeon for 30 minutes a day. Yeah. yeah, for the Nickelodeon Day of Play. <laughs> yeah, the Nickelodeon Day of Morning. 
Um, Nickelodeon did the play. Can I read yeah. this from, um, from user Plump Me, please? Uh, please yeah. turn me into an immobile blob. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I'm looking to be fed and fattened as you make me balloon to immobile sizes. It'd be really good to answer this by just hating him with a truck. <laughs> yeah. I want you to turn, turn me into a vegetable. I want you to turn me into a big slobby blimp. I've got several <laughs> fun ideas which I've listed below. One, a new group of interns has started at Triumph Corp. Unbeknownst to them, the longtime employees have a little pool each year. They each pick an intern and do everything they can to fatten them up over the over the over the next year. Whichever intern gains the most weight determines the winners. Every year, the interns go from fresh-faced college students to massive hogs, and this year will be no different. You're determined to win this year, and you've got the perfect future piggy. I like I like to imagine like the CEO or like one of like the upper level managers is like, guys, why do you keep doing this? This is like why we're losing business. Like this this fucking sucks. We hate that you do this. HR, fi- HR at Triumph Corp finally finding out about this. Yeah, it's like what you know the you fuck, know Triumph guys? Corp is like an MLL MLM yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Why do we even have a burger shoot in the break room? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, it's just it's just like yeah. Um, um two. Uh, you're the you're the owner of a bakery in town, and I've just signed on as your taste tester. It seems like the perfect job for a plump piglet like me. I just get to come in and try your delicious treats and say whether I like them. Little do I realize the ruinous effects this will have on my waistline. I may be fat, but I'm about to get so much fatter. <laughs> what? <laughs> that, like, I mean, I guess, like... Cause... I feel like most of these start with, like, someone that's, like, thin already, but I like that they're, like, already fat. Already pretty fat. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Three, I've started a new job at the Burger Barn, and I really fit in. The job isn't too hard, the people are nice, and the free food is just so good. This is quite the... <laughs> Guess what? This is having quite <laughs> the effect on my <gasps> waistline, and I'm growing quite round. As I grow rounder and rounder, you realize you quite like it. Maybe you could push me to be the biggest employee you've ever hired. <laughs> <laughs> with, with all of these RP scenarios, I, I, the the funny part to me is just imagining like everyone else there being really uncomfortable with like <laughs> just seeing like like how much their coworker is struggling yeah, to do know, basic tasks. The, the workplace malpractice lawsuit that results from this. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Your Honor, the defendant did in fact force me to eat three burgers before I left. Yeah. He insisted, saying that the milkshake attached was his special treat. Yeah. Um, and then he just uh, he says the the betting pool with coworkers to see who can get their and in turn fat at fat like, yeah, He come just on, lists man. it again. Your Honor, um, the defendant poked his finger full length into my belly and then went. Mm. Mm. <laughs> he went boing. <laughs> Your Honor, the, the the defendant is presently jerking off at my inability to fit <laughs> the witness stand. <laughs> this is this is exactly Your, Your Honor, what as I was entering the courthouse, the defendant asked me if I was getting out of breath going up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> he was visibly erect during this conversation. Um. Yeah. I guess. Uh. Oh wait. Who just sent one? Oh yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, I can read this one, Gus. Uh, F for A, humiliated in front of my family on my birthday. My birthday is meant to be a special occasion. made me laugh so fucking My birthday is meant to be a special occasion, but when I come downstairs for my 24th birthday, I discover that my family has some different ideas. I've gained a noticeable amount of weight over the past year, and when I wake up on my birthday, I fa- find a family member, brother, sister, father, mother, cousin, standing over my bed. The explains is that I've ruined countless other events with my bratty attitude that my birthday will be an opportunity for my family to get revenge on me. I am forced to wear a poofy birthday dress that fits snugly around my belly. Throughout the celebration, my family makes side comments about my appearance and personality. They find new ways to embarrass and humiliate me. Kings are... <laughs> Kingstar humiliation, force feeding, wardrobe malfunctions, wardrobe control, body modifications, body hair, tattoos, IQ laws, <laughs> IQ laws, hypnosis, tickling, drunkness, limited mobility, warding, immobility, diapers, pig play, slob, sleep play, mind control, in, uh, insects, and bad endings for my character. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is just like every four out of ten Jewish moms. Yeah, no, that was yeah, <laughs> just yeah. Um, I just I looked up. Uh, I think I looked up blimp. Or I guess do you want to read one that I uh or wait did I uh yeah do you want to guess can you read the one that's uh one of the two that I sent uh above while well, he's telling you what the fuck to do yeah exploding adventures. <laughs> 
Emily, 280 pounds, 26 years old, G cup tits, 65 inch ass, double belly roll, fat foop and thighs. Read the book. Woo. <laughs> Just like those scrolling across the street, like an episode of Deadliest Warrior. Uh, I was gonna, yeah, like at the combine, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, she's just, well, no, she's just like, yeah, she has like her arms crossed, and like you just see that, like, yeah, she's like <laughs> doing like poses as the camera swooshes around her. <laughs> Read the below, all of it, or don't message me. <laughs> I like my partner to describe my growth. Looking for another woman to RP with. I would like mutual expansion, but not necessary. <laughs> These are warring kingdoms. <laughs> no, I was yeah, I was going to say like the language in here after the read read the below like this could just be for like a startup. Like I like my partner to describe my growth. I'm looking for mutual expansion. Yeah. <laughs> I want to eat burgers and french fries and conquer Manchuria and drink a milkshake. <laughs> also okay with men. I would always want you to be my brother, sister, mother or father. Uh Bursting, unbirth, vor, clean versions, no dying. Bursting would result to, in returning to original sign. <laughs> That's not how bursting works, jackass. <laughs> yeah, Alien was actually a documentary about how to drop 30 pounds really quick. Yeah. <laughs> Kinks, expansion, inflation, extreme degradation, incest, bursting, vor, anal vor, liquid expansion, weight gain, not allowed. Pregnancy, expansion, gore, slob, scat, gas, air inflation, food expansion. <laughs> Inclusion of King's liquid expansion, but not gas expansion. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. immediately <laughs> filled up with soap. Well, they they want a they want a particular temperature going on. You, you can know, fill they... me up with Dr Pepper, but not farts. So wait, would liquid expansion mean that like? Things can only be melting, but like they can't be evaporating. I th I think it's it's about like drinking a lot of soda. Oh, yeah. okay. I but think not it's being... about like 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 you can and now you like someone like that stuffing by, like, a drinking a lot of soda and turn into a water balloon, but you can't like get hooked up to like a fucking like bicycle pump and ex expand that way. That's cheating. I feel like that's more tame, honestly. I mean, I guess you know. It, whatever... Maybe that's why it's not allowed. Maybe it's like, oh, get that's that true. Yeah, shit out of here. Yeah. What are you fucking bike with training wheels, you pussy? Yeah. <laughs> what are the uh, what are the scenarios? Oh, uh, number one, we are at the beach. I brought this new I bought this new sun lotion online. You help me put it on, and I start getting bigger and bigger. I'm oblivious <laughs> to the growth, but you aren't. I don't realize that I slash we are growing, but you do and keep it going. Eventually, we pop. <laughs> <laughs> And popping is just where there's like an explosion, and then they're the same size again. Yeah, I guess. So. <laughs> like getting used as like a beach volleyball. Yeah, I get. Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. Shit, that would be air expansion. My bad. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Don't, 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 don't say that. You're gonna get canceled. We are at the mall and we are trying on clothes. Nothing seems to fit me. Every time we go up a size, it is still too tight. I don't realize it, but we are growing, and you do, and you keep it going. Eventually, we pop. Three. Also, up <laughs> for new ideas. If male, yeah. you start growing. Or if female, you start <laughs> growing too. If male, Scenari you're. Or you can get fat. Scenario three: We are on United Flight ninety seven, and I am approaching the door of the uh, the, the pilot's cockpit. You don't realize that I am growing, or I don't realize I'm growing, but you do. I explode, and the plane goes down in Pennsylvania. Um, um can I read this one? Uh, need an extra blimp for the Thanksgiving parade? Oh yeah, this one's good. Yeah, it is officially Thanksgiving. Families are currently at home stuffing themselves with a big dinner spread. And most and millions are watching the National Thanksgiving Parade that airs every year. However, there's an issue. The <laughs> I like the idea that it's called the National Thanksgiving. Like, the National it's, Thanksgiving. It's put on by the government. <laughs> <laughs> they na they nationalized it from Macy's yeah, in no. 2036. <laughs> yeah, no, this is it. It has a more like militaristic tone now. Mm -hmm. The parade is going to air in 20 minutes, but they're short of one balloon. The Thanksgiving turkey. One of the members get a twisted idea, but it's not what expected. I happen to be one of the parade members responsible for holding <laughs> strings to the blimp. However, if you have to use me as the blimp. Uh, 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 wait. Uh, not allowed. I just like uh, the list of not allowed. Uh, vor, gore, scat, <laughs> water ports, pedophilia, anal method inflations, non-air inflations. Only because my OC needs to float. I like. The, I don't. I don't know how like pedophilia would be involved. Maybe it's like Jared from Subway gets like inflated into a big <laughs> balloon, <laughs> and then he's like spying on kids like through like their Manhattan apartment windows. 
<laughs> Honestly, I like that this is an interesting scenario because, like, imagine just watching the parade and then you just see, like, a really fat naked guy <laughs> just, like, <laughs> floating where the turkey was. He's, he's in one of those, like, like latex suits. Like, you know the ones yeah. the guys who are into inflation do, just entirely covered in black? Oh, yeah, one of the ones that Taylor posts. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I... I, that that is that is what I appreciate about these is just imagining like how uncomfortable literally everyone else is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh man, I don't I don't like this. <laughs> they they aren't even having sex. It's just like a guy. Be- <laughs> um, I think it's my turn. Uh, I'll read this. A uh, far right girl becomes fat feminist. Uh, here's the image. Um, so I'm thinking uh, the situation is either one or a. Uh. This is what I call a parental rebellion, where a trad girl, once homeschooled on a farm beca- or to become a perfect wife, goes to college, and like everyone's dumb f- uh, uncle's Facebook posts, uh, this causes her to become a liberated girl. B, l- less RP, where trad girl and liberated feminist girl start dating, and the trad girl picks up on her habits. Oh, that's such a sweet story. Oh, no, C, <laughs> dystopia. Essentially, the fascists take over, and, uh, but she either escapes or is deported, causing her to become a liberated girl on her own. And then I guess that's what because she becomes fat. <laughs> Oh, then it's, uh, it's just, like, a link to, like, something about some, like, boomer Facebook meme. I like the idea of, like, like, you know, like, you escape fascism and then you just become really fat. I mean, I guess that's, you know, compared to, like, what was going on, maybe. Um, oh, here's a, here's one. Um, Gus, uh, or wait, did I? Just, I'll do it. Yeah. Uh, there's one in there that um I sent that I don't think we've gotten to Okay. Yet. Oh, the diaper one. <laughs> yes. Uh, em- this is all caps. I can help you get fatter IRL! <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Harry, and I'm 21 years old, and I'm from Portugal. I can say I'm a feeder and encourager. I always do my best to please my feedy. I can say that's as always. I love bigger women, and I've loved even more to make them bigger and fatter. I used to play The Sims 4 and fatten up all the female <laughs> characters. <laughs> I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> just to see them grow now i'm here <laughs> to try and make it come true i'm here to help you gain tons of weight and fulfill our fantasies in real life because i know you want to get fat and i would love to help you come there and be 250 pounds 500 pounds even 1000 pounds if it's even possible <laughs> i it's like you can't even count that high is that yeah. even a number i, I like the idea that one one pound two pound three pound <laughs> I like the idea that this is like how like people. It's like I played a lot of Hearts of Iron Four, and I think I have some ideas about the military. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> is, is that but theater or something? Yeah. I have, dude. I'm trying to make the slider go, but it's not making a girl any better. It's taking too yeah. long. I have tons and uh, tons of tips and tricks to help you get fatter. Oh, is it eat a lot? <laughs> yeah, of food? yeah, it's a real mystery. I nobody else could figure it out on their own. I feel like it's pretty. I feel like it's pretty straightforward up until you get to like I don't know like around the world record, um, and then like maybe the, it's probably like once you get to the upper limit, it's probably more about balancing like not dying of a heart attack and like trying to gain as much weight as possible before you die of a heart attack. I hope to see you in my chat box soon. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See you all, and I hope you are hungry and ready to get fatter and fatter until you blow out of your cloths. I can also roleplay if you prefer it. Just hit me up and let me know. So then we can make a plot to please us both. Happy New Year. <laughs> P.S. Just send a crap chat request if you are female plus 18. Uh, this post has been locked because this person is seeking a partner. Yay! Portugal, Portugal is so romantic. It's such a beautiful country. <laughs> yeah, um, this is, I, this, is, I read this, this, this is actually this Ronaldo. Diapers. Oh yeah, you can read the diapers one. Uh, F for F, force fatten me in diapers. We're both adults. Bye. <laughs> yeah. I just Look, we're both adults here. If we're we want to both get man adults. pregnant, <laughs> I just finished my first feeding, and you gaze at my round, bloated belly. It gurgles and churns in tightness. It doesn't even fall into my lap. It looks like a bowling ball taped to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you coo. Full R. Right. The babies don't. The mommy doesn't coo. Babies coo. <laughs> yeah. Full already? Don't worry. Mommy has a reward for girls that stuff themselves so good. 
you put a, a, a hand on my warm, tight belly, soon all of that fattening li- liquid you had forced down my throat will turn into glorious flab. My thighs will widen, my tits will expand, my nipples will stretch, and my fat ass will spill out of every chair. My arms will grow so flabby that I won't even be able to lift them. Lift them. Um, you pinch my like soft flailing thighs. around like the kid from a Christmas story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't put my... my arms up. <laughs> you pinch my soft thighs, turning the vibrator on in your hand. You press it up against my thick, soft diaper. Good girl. You yeah. drink it all up. I can't wait for you to be mommy's blobby girl. Grow for mom. <laughs> you that sounds like, it's, it's like how moms give their, like, suburban moms give their daughters eating disorders. Basically. <laughs> mommy's blobby girl. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're going to be so fat. You whisper while rubbing my bloated tummy, conditioning me to get helplessly horny at the feeling of stuffing, the mention of food, the, uh, the likelihood and sensation of fattening. You're an obsessive feeder. Obsessed with stalking me and constantly imagining making me grow into a whale of a woman. Oh, the urge to witness my thighs swell into pillars of fat until I can hardly sw- hardly waddle. My middle to bloat into a tight, flabby ball when I'm overfed and stuffed silly after every meal. My arms to puff up so stiff with gorgeous flab that I need to have everything done for me. Oh no, Benji, uh, what was the one What was the one in the middle? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. To see my ass checks puff up into <laughs> fatty shelves that jiggle as I struggle to move. My ass arms checks. to puff up so stiff with gorgeous flab that I need to have everything done for me. To hear me moan in distress, inside my ample cleavage splayed over my gigantic tummy. To moan in bliss as you roll me over and fuck me like a bitch in heat. To hear my stomach <laughs> beg for mercy as I'm only halfway through my meal. You can't wait to finally find me. To puff, to puff up my pussy and control if and how I come. Tie me down and force whatever food, fluid, or aphrodisiac down my throat to rub my tummy and call me good girl when I get all nice and big for you, leaking and bloated like a cream puff. Uh-huh. Thanks. <laughs> Kidnapping, dub con, lar- large insertions, force feeding, tight bursting out of clothes, drugging, BDSM, force feeding, force orgasm, diapers, immobility, humiliation, costumes, ABDL, non con, BDSM, begging, bathroom control, moderate age gaps, force bathrooms, adoration, <laughs> moderate, age, moderate, age, yeah. moderate to oh. severe age gaps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm uh, socially liberal, use- but I want to fuck a 15 year old. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. They're, they're, arming, they're arming moderate age gaps in Syria right now. Animals, oh, restraints, large insertions, already said that one, name calling, okay. weight gain, force gain, diapers, accidents, public humiliation, said that one. Already said that <laughs> one, yeah. <laughs> Clothes tearing, costumes, stuffing, multiple orgasms, and dirty talk. And yeah, yeah, one of my kinks is uh, having multiple orgasms. Yeah, not, and dirty not, talk. Me. not me, I like to, I, you know, I like to be, I like, you know, I like to be uh, sort of chased with that, Just, just one for me. Um, there, oh god, I went on a, this person was on ABDL roleplay, and one of them is, one of the puffs on there is Millie Bobby Brown back to diapers, which I am not gonna read. <laughs> most of, most of the controversial posts on, uh, ABDL yeah, roleplay. That was, that was a cut song off of Certified Lover Boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna send you back to diapers. <laughs> um, uh, oh, Gus, I want you to read, uh, not the one that I just sent, uh, I was, th- this one, uh, this one about Leafy on being in bed with, th- this person has been, Chris the Fanboy 1 has been reposting on ABDL Roleplay, this one, si- like, one scenario where Leafy on wets the bed over and over, the, the one above that. Okay, uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. It's, so the one it's, above is Hotspot 629. Uh, yeah, the, the one with the, the dungeon. Okay. Uh, the F4A, the God yeah. Fuck damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this, this fuck. This, this post is called the Karen Dungeon. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you look like you need a meal. You look like you should eat something now. God, you look anorexic. So disgusting. Okay, have any of you ever noticed how even though it's nice that body positivity has resulted in people being less openly rude to chubbier people, I've noticed that it almost feels like some people, parentheses, maybe people who used to be skinny but have put on weight they can't seem to lose, are using body positivity to shit on skinnier people. I've heard the above comments said by Karens around me. This is obviously super fucked, but the negativity gave me an idea. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not aware of this, yeah, this uh, dynamic, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I do well, love fat is normal and skinny is gross. <laughs> <laughs> 
How about a role play that's basically like a dungeon crawl, where I have to make it through level after level, filled with either Karens all trying to project their own insecurities to such a degree that they are trying to tempt me to snack, or actively trying to stuff me with junk food. I like the idea that I might have to sneak around or negotiate with them to try and avoid getting fattening, but it probably won't succeed every time. Either way, let's play this out and see how I end up out the other end. Oh no! They say they say, but I probably won't be able to succeed, and every time, so they're kind of they're kind of despondent about it. They think that the Karens will get to them eventually. One one or one or two of these damn Karens is gonna shove a burger down my throat. I also like that it's. Uh, I also like that it's. Um, uh, that like it's a dungeon crawl, but instead of fighting, you just have conversations and get convinced <laughs> to do things. Skyrim, but the only skill you can use is speech. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I. <laughs> I don't know if there's there's anything in that. Oh, I looked up. Uh, I looked up. I looked up Karen and found this. Sorry to spoil it. Um, M for F. Karen mother throws a fit after Bar refuses to serve her 19 year old son. <laughs> Bartender Spike's drink is revenge. I'm looking to play as a son who gets humiliated by his mother in public in multiple ways. Maybe you read wrong or assume that we could sit at the table, but the bar refused us entry that we had a reservation to. My hot and formal mother gets into a rage, screaming, yelling, before they finally give it, uh, finally give and let us in. To try to enjoy the awkward scene, the bartender slips a pill into the beer my mom ordered. Uh, the effect, making your morbidly obese white trash. <laughs> he, slips, he slips one of those, like, little toys that, uh, you know, expand into, like, a dinosaur. Yeah. He drinks, he drinks it, it just fully expands her. Yeah. Or just, yeah, he just, uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went on this person's profile and what if they proposed something in fucking limitless RP of a deer that has a cock and balls that are like five times the size of it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, sorry, uh, kinks, weight gain, stereotypes, transformation, mobility issues, mobility aid, fat women preaching their lifestyle to others, slob, messy eating, slutty clothes, bimbos, humiliation, some public plate, bonus points if you want to make your, uh, saliva contagious so that I can get fat eat every time you kiss me. <laughs> um, yeah, hold on, I think, uh, I think I had, um, I think I had one, oh yeah, the, uh, Griffin, you want to read uh, a mile in her blubber? <laughs> it's uh, it's the uh, top. You have four. You have four. Yep. Sorry, I I ordered it weird. A mile in her blubber. <laughs> I was your typical internet asshole who found it funny to go on various body positive subs slash forums and talk all kinds of shit to the girls there. Sure, I had been on the bit bigger side myself, so perhaps it was my way of making myself feel better. I had done this for a long time until I did the unfortunate mistake of commenting on your post. Little did I know that you were a powerful witch and you were going to change <laughs> me against my will to walk a mile in her blubber. Hi. Thanks. Hi, all. Thanks for reading. I'm looking for a dominant partner that turns my character into various fat women for the purpose of humiliation. <laughs> I'd want to have a wide range of sizes just so I could end up anywhere from a bit pudgy to immobile. My main kinks <laughs> include weight gain, gender changes, humiliation, downgrade TF, uglification, weight changes, size differences, and much more. It's, it's uh, cracking me up that like even the fucking even the people who are like specifically into feederism as a fetish are just like you know what the most embarrassing thing to be is a fucking fatty yeah <laughs> fucking gross ass fat lady what the fuck that's embarrassing yeah oh here's these guys, um... these guys must make incredible partners yeah you know what uh here this uh this feels like I don't know. This feels like a fastball right down center plate, uh, just like sort of classic. I went, I went on ABDL role play, and it's the most reason why they say, "Guys, can you read this?" I, I feel like, I feel like it's, uh, it's just real, real easy. <laughs> oh, got it bad, got it bad, got it bad. Diapered by teacher. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sitting in class before a messenger comes in and asks if they could borrow me for it. I leave the classroom. This is when I get told the news of extra tutoring after school back at my teacher's house. But it takes a dark turn when she forces me into wearing diapers and makes me crawl around and act like a baby, even to the extent of making me eat baby food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my DMs are open, so just send me. This is this is Miss Honey from Matilda. 
Yeah. <laughs> my DMs are open, so just send me a message. It only has to be a hello. I will reply to anything. My limits are puke and gore and extreme scat. But everything else I'm fine with. Looking forward to role-playing. What's extreme scat? Diarrhea? It's, I guess it's so, like yeah. if a poop is like on a tech deck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a turd with, a turd with sunglasses. Yeah. Um... But see, uh, the this uh this this Chris the femboy guy has been trying to. He posted this this thing about Leafeon being a bedwetter, and like I shit you not, like dozens of dozens of different subreddits. Like I feel like we almost sort of like you know I'll I'll read it because uh, I feel like we you know he he deserves to be heard, or maybe he's been heard too much. But either way, um, I think this was on. Hold on, where is it? Um. God damn it. Uh, oh, yeah, here it is. It, this is also an ABDL roleplay. Uh, Chris the Femboy. A le- the Leafeon's a bedwetter? Calling all Pokemon fans. <laughs> I don't know if you want to call all Pokemon fans for this. We Every go to the single same uni- one. <laughs> yes, especially the children. We go to the same university. As you've noticed, uh, you've noticed this uh, sh- cute short boy and decided to check him out. Uh, you notice his room smells like urine when you walk by it. <laughs> when he left to do something, realizing he went to bed, <laughs> he's walking to the laundry room with That's what you not- see looks like a sheet. <laughs> it's just room smells like piss. This is just not being house trained. It's a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Poor guy, you're gonna fuck your dog because he's not house trained. <laughs> but this, but this is a university. He should have been house trained by now. He's a smart dog. Perhaps you should help him, or maybe you should pick on him. The choice is yours. Uh, Cynthia is a smaller than average Leafy- Leafeon. This takes place in Unova, and there are no humans alive as they went extinct 300 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> wow. It's kind of grim. All right, no, I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, there, I got a fucking doozy I gotta send. Oh, please, yes. Uh, this is wait, not... Wait. I found this uh, by yeah. searching the keyword racist. Uh, oh, that's... Play, thank and you. I found a link to an outside site called Roleplayer Guild. Ooh, uh, wow. that- Oh, yeah, I like this. I really like this. Uh, You guys cut out, I think. Uh, It is the year 1865, and the United States government is seeking to establish and tame the Western frontier. Manifest Destiny is in full swing, and the era of of American imperialism is about to begin. In Legends of the West, however, fantasy meets history. Americans have just ended the Civil War to free slave orcs from the Confederate secessionist (laughs) hell. Yes! (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) While technology and modernization is booming with the invention of the steam locomotive, the Gatling gun, and better farming and catting tools... The old practices of magic are being used to blend in with these technological advancements as well. The era of the mythical cowboy is about to (laughs) be... The era of the (laughs) mythical cowboy. The mythical cowboy. (laughs) That's the best kind. This will be a roleplay open to all. As such, I'm playing this in the free roleplay section. But you need to not have to limit your writing post if you're a casual player or advanced. Well, I would like a paragraph for each post. You can have more than that, and perhaps up to six paragraphs per post. A recent change would be that this doesn't just take place in Texas, but all over the Western frontier. I might make a simple hub town to start out, and with everyone for every uh, to start out with for everyone though. Magic is considered something older and archaic. Technology is considered something newer and more efficient. Yes, mm. you can blend your magic into technology in this role play. However, you're doing basically taking old practices and blending them in with the latest in technological advances. So not everyone would be capable of doing such things. <laughs> there will be races in this. However, Yay! they will be modified Woo! to meet history. That's Yay! right. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Humans, the U.S. government, and its citizens. Which is a lot. (laughs) Irish slash Scottish immigrants looking to make a name for themselves and a life in the Wild West. Ah. They're great blacksmiths, engineers, and have monopolies in the Transcontinental Railroad. They also sell and manufacture guns. Orcs, the African Americans of this (laughs) story. Could you have, like, maybe gone with, like, something a bit less? (laughs) Just think about it for two seconds. It's just like a different race. I don't think even Tolkien was this racist. Have you have you maybe like dark elves? Like, you know. Native Americans are tieflings. Yeah, you know, like there's there's a lot of places that you I feel like orc is pretty the 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 one that Native Americans are is really funny too. Okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Uh, the civil war for orc rights and independence has led to the orc American to gain his freedom, <laughs> but persecution and discrimination are still rampant. Isn't this just the plot of that, like, Max Landis movie or whatever? Yep. Oh, right. yeah, I know you're right. Yeah, bright, yeah. Uh, vampires and undead, former soldiers who have died on the battlefield but rose again. Great generals are most likely to have become vampires. They can have fought for their for either side or just in the previous wars, such as 1812. Dragon men slash dragon Oh my women. god, this is like literally, this is like, sorry, continue. Tell them what this one is. Tell them about Dragon this men slash dragon women. Chinese immigrants. <laughs> 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 no, but the, the OC note actually, like, kind of clarifies this. They're natural fire elementals and handy workers. However, cool. many do not trust them as they're foreigners and from the East and untrusted. They're <laughs> that is what, that's a good reason not to trust someone. around the West Coast. Being, being not uh, trusted is a good reason not to trust someone. <laughs> <laughs> Out of character note, they are not actual dragons. In fact, they're more akin to eastern lizard men who can naturally spew flames. Oh, oh, okay. That makes it better. <laughs> that sounds like something Jimmy Stewart would call someone. That's an eastern well, no, like, like, dra like dragon lady is like literally like one of the antiquated slurs that Clint Eastwood like dug up for <laughs> Gran Torino. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Like, it is, this is the closest you can get to just, like, an actual slur. <laughs> Dark elves are confederates, or a part oh. of the U.S. until they can succeed over their slaves and economical issues. The U.S. Mm. government just had finished the Civil War and freed the orcs of their chains. Confederate characters need not be villains in this. Oh, oh. cool! <laughs> Neat. It gets better and better! <laughs> In fact, a lot of them looked west to stake their claim and settle out in the west, just as humans have. Los Gatos. Los Gatos. <laughs> Los Gatos. Hispanic and Mexican characters shall be anthropomorphic cats. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. But, they, but they're all like, but they're, but they're all like, they're all like Sylvester the cat, like oh my you know, God. like Anthrop anthropomorphic <laughs> cat twitter is so annoying the, well the, like all the hispanic cats are like sylvester the cat like wearing a do-rag like like or like tweety bird with like a gun <laughs> jaguars panthers and all matter of feline they also currently have a massive army and are south of the border <laughs> Native Americans. Uh, there's no I like that because it was so obvious that he didn't need, he thought it was so obvious he didn't need to explain it at all. <laughs> yes. Giants. Canadian or Paul Bunyan-like settlers. They have legal issues, but for the most part they'll settle around up north and not in the west. They may still contract to the U.S. government. <laughs> they'll contract, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Where the Jews While are. this can be comical at points, I would like this idea to be taken seriously. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> but remember, although this is fantasy, it's inspired by real world events and many people. <laughs> Wait, really? Wait, <laughs> really? I'm in real life. What do you mean? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I want this to be the I want this to be Baldur's Gate Four. It's just like the most racist, <laughs> insensitive fantasy setting of all time. Like something something that would make Varg go like Jesus Christ, man, calm down. <laughs> I love the fucking racial comparisons. He's, I can't get over like Chinese immigrants being dragon. <laughs> yeah, but not even dragon. They're like not even like cool dragons. They're just lizards that like get hot. Um. <laughs> The part about magic is pretty boring, but do you want I, to? I don't uh, like. I don't like know how to riff on this because he's gotten like every race covered. Like yeah. he's come up with a weird fantasy comparison for every ethnic group imaginable. There's can, nothing I read, I can. can I read this, this one comment from a? Band wait, wait, no, user? no, no, wait, uh, Gus, you read point seven. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. People have mistaken this roleplay for my actual beliefs. I would never condone slavery in any way, shape, or form in real life. I believe mm -hmm. slavery is intrinsically wrong. That freedom is a fundamental human right. And while slavery here has happened, it's up to the players to do something about it. You have the choice to make a character of the race that were formerly slaves or not. Also, what race is that? <laughs> <laughs> you can choose to be any race that's not been under slavery. The what, story does was that what does that race specialize in traditionally in, like, uh... <laughs> 
in fantasy sakes. Do they yeah. do they traditionally fan you know specialize in being dumb and violent uh, is, and you know is, untrustworthy? Yeah, the, 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 the fantasy race that's meant to represent black people in my RP yeah. come from the mystical land yeah. of basketballonia. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a. I'm just gonna do some like some world building. It's like everyone hates when like orcs go into the movie theater because they're just gonna be barking yeah. all the time. Yeah. Does anyone help? <laughs> I'll say it when a Los Gatos gets on your train with a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, yeah. I gotta clutch, clutching my coin purse. Whenever yeah. a couple, couple orcs on the Los Gatos. Look, you got you got two different types. There's the regular orcs, which are fine and respectable, and then you have the Urukai. And every time <laughs> some orcs are trying to have a good time, some Urukai come in and start raiding your village. <laughs> Yeah, the guys, um, there, they they found some old pictures of me from Halloween dressed up like a What's your face? I was in green face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 had, I had the the big, like, fang teeth and everything. It, it was, it was rough. Yeah, yeah, it's like way more effort. In, yeah. <laughs> Getting canceled by a ghost. Yeah. I didn't this, realize that, yeah. The was story kind of was weird. meant to portray real-life historical events of the other of the lives after the slaves were freed in real life. This is a historical theme, and I shall heavily show the enslaved race in a positive manner. Uh, I do not... Off to a good this. start. <laughs> off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> I do not contone slavery in real in a single instant. However, history is history, and you cannot rewrite it to have never happened. You made well, no, them this orcs! Is, this is a, Yeah, it's not your job to write history. This wasn't, like... That's this isn't where people... That's a funny thing to say after you're like, yeah, the black people are orcs. This isn't, like, a... This isn't a textbook. It would be funny if this is, like, like thousands of years in the future, if this is somehow, like, one of the few documents that survives. Play, whether or not they can personally deal with a character who have faced these issues or not, it's up to the player to realize this is fantasy, and thus to play with this theme with historical authenticity or not. I am merely <laughs> trying to make a historical fantasy role play that everyone can enjoy. Oh yeah, man, everyone can enjoy this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Griffin, please read that interaction. Yes. Just a shot in the dark here, but what is orc dialogue? Like? <laughs> you tell me about their racial strength, <laughs> limitations, and culture. Yeah, talk about their racial limitations. Oh, Charlie, he responded. He responded. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. You know, I'll take. <laughs> I'll take this one. Read the I'll, I'll, t I'll take yeah. this one. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll talk like this guy's username is Jared the Fox. Jared the Fox I'll, I'll talk like I'll talk like how I assume this guy is. Right, well, I, w I wasn't thinking of them talking like an orc in Warhammer. Rather, they would perhaps have a grunting or sort of straightforward-like <laughs> accent. <laughs> sort of like orcs in Warcraft instead. Oh my god, Which, I'm if, I remember, if I remember correctly, the orcs in Warcraft were also, like, famous for being, like, pretty racist at the beginning. Like, they were Jamaican. <laughs> like, like the way they like, like in the first build of World of Warcraft, like the the orcs were like all talking like Jamaican guys. Um, some of them would be able to read and write, but education would be varied and perhaps meager due to the, it being shortly after the end of the Civil War. Tribalism would even perhaps be a part of their culture. They'd probably be back to their tribal heritage after being free from the... No, man. What continent should they go back to? Like, con... Or stuff. Or, or, yeah, go back to... It's like Orkfrica. regular or stuff. Yeah, no, nah, just... Or, yeah, go back to Orkfrica. Um, <laughs> back to their go tribal heritage. <laughs> after being freed in the war. As far as strengths, I'm thinking some very orcish ones, <laughs> such as, but not limited to, durable, hardy, and very strong. Classic orc type. Classic Think like a John Henry type of character. Oh, I'm, I was already Classic thinking. The, ma the magical orc trope. <laughs> magical orc trope, yeah. <laughs> the Society for Magical Orcs. Yeah, d d yeah, yeah, dagger, dagger Vance. It's the or <laughs> it's what or Orkman Freeman shows up to help Matt Damon uh, slaughter <laughs> a village. <laughs> yeah, they would have shamanistic ritual magic, old ways done by chieftains of local oh shamans. God, oh, they, stop! Would you would you stop, say that? Dude, they, would you say stop. would you say that they possibly have like spirituals? That, uh, oh my God! Would, would you say that? They, would you say that it's you know, how close is it to voodoo? Orcs would have great health and may heal naturally faster than humans. Uh. I wonder how they play sports. They can also use most modern devices, but are prone to breaking more fragile pieces of technology. <laughs> However, they can melee very well in case their tools have to be used for defense. <laughs> 
God damn it. This may or not be good. They, they may or may not be good at particular craftsmanship. Strong unity towards other non-humans, but they've also been friendly towards humans. The mentality of human slash white superiority would still be around uh, until what would be uh, the future in this universe. This is historical. I don't know if, like, blacks at this time were just, like, like hated white people. Like, you're, <laughs> like, they didn't have... I mean, there were certain white people that they hated. Also, wait, no, humans aren't white in this. It's the dark elves that enslaved them. Well, there, are, no there are white humans, and then there are also dark elves who are the confederates. Yeah, no, so he but is, that's he is, and there he, are vampires the who are like dead He has effectively absolved white people of the sin of slavery yeah, no, by putting no, that's on a different gonna, race. I was gonna say, yeah, because the, 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 um... <laughs> the orcs, the orcs would have no reason to be mad at humans. It's all the dark elves. Those ones that enslaved them. But in this one, he's just, like, sort of messed it up and is, like... See, he revealed that he thinks that, like, all black people hate white people for some reason. Like, some limitations would be... Oh, here are the limitations. <laughs> Yeah, no. they can e they can easily break tools. They're not the most educated bunch. Then again, they just came out of slavery. That's they're mad. They're ma magic. Oh yeah, their magic may be very old fashioned, like centuries old and shamanistic. They cannot yeah. mount horses. They will break the backs of said steeds oh, with their with their <laughs> natural muscle mass. No Others way. may still see them as inferiors, and a lot of the law still tries to mess them over. Think Jim Crow laws. Oh good. I, well, I I, might. I was thinking that. Um, uh, <laughs> right, can, can I read one more exchange? Yeah, the one, the one, re the reply to, isn't this a teeny bit racist? Yeah, so somebody says, isn't this a teeny bit racist? Associating real world races with fantasy races that have stereotypical traits? Like, there's some fucking heavy connotations right there. Yeah. <laughs> and then this guy responds, way to jump to conclusions. In this role play, I had the idea of white southern people such as myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I I was just doing the voice out of you know like coincidentally, but I'm glad that it was the right voice. Such as myself as half vampire, dark elf. Of course, it's about race. It's fantasy. As far as actual racism goes, no, it's not. The idea is that the United States would be composed of different fantasy races and not just all human. <laughs> Example, uh, seriously, play a game of Warhammer and see how many races have changed into mythological creatures or inspired by real world groups. Example, Romanians are vampires, except for the Von Karstein dynasty. High elves, <laughs> British chaos, Vikings, lizard men, a Mesoamerican beast men being Germanic invaders, etc. Well, Your notion that I'm saying being of any races are bad is unfounded. This is a sentence where the United States had to deal with not only the issue of simple skin, <laughs> but being a different fantasy species with various capabilities as well. If you do not like the idea, you're free not to join. But don't toss false allegations of racism where there are none. <laughs> Yo, uh, yo, light skin orcs, light skin orcs beat their clubs like this. <laughs> Jared the Fox, ninety two. Thank you so much. So <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. God, that was the... God bless Jared the Fox. Yeah, <laughs> the, the the dark elves will rise again. <laughs> Subscribe to our Patreon, guys, and uh, you know that was that was good. <laughs> An episode Jesus. just as good as this one. Ow. All right, bye. That fucking fantasy role. Gonna kill me. I got him.